Hey, good morning everyone, it's Glenn Calloway coming to you from the basement. Um, this video was kind of inspired by uh, my good friend Rachel from Rachel's Ghost. Rachel's been uh, spotlighting her audio equipment. Now she's doing them one video at a time per piece of equipment. But Rachel's a professional pontificator and she can has the ability to go on for 20 minutes about a turntable and I don't. So, <laughs> and that's not an insult to Rachel, that's a compliment. Um, so what I want to do is kind of show you my audio equipment. I want to spotlight an artist by the name of Sky Wallace, who is from Ontario, Canada, just about to, to release, I guess they're calling it her first album, but really it's her second album. She's an amazing artist, and I want you to hear her. Uh, then we're going to talk about my stereo equipment, do a little bit of a room tour, and uh, yeah, so bear with me for a second. Check out Sky Wallace. That was the amazing Sky Wallace. Let's talk about my stereo equipment for a minute. First of all, let's start with my turntable. Now, this is a Rega P3 turntable, considered a entry-level audiophile turntable. Um, still, you know, with uh, with a cartridge, 
you're looking at about uh, eighteen hundred dollars Canadian for this turntable that's retail so I'm sure you can talk them down a couple of bucks here and there um, the reason I love this turntable is because I don't tinker there's a lot of guys who love to play with their turntables like they're working on cars and uh, they like to switch cartridges out and try different mats and try different plinths and platters and interchange tone arms and all that I don't want to do that Rega has a very reputable tone arm um, there's not a lot of adjusting to do. It's actually basically plug and play. When you bring it home, plug it in and put a record on. Um, I guess the only uh, thing that people say about these turntables is they can have a speed issue. I have never noticed a speed issue at all, but that could be my untrained ears. I don't know, but it's a beautiful turntable. They come stock with what they call an Elise cartridge. And I upgraded to an exact cartridge, which just, I think, just sounds incredible. Um, really, really happy with this turntable. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Uh, that's about it. But anyway, I got a cork mat on it, and it's a glass platter. As you can see, um, it's belt drive. And that's about it. Uh, next, let's just skip down. While I get onto the floor here, my 69 year old body onto the floor. This is my CD player. It is an OPPO BDP 105. I've had this player for about, man, maybe what, two, three, five, Wow, probably about 10 years. And it's just an incredible player. These are universal players. So they play everything from Blu-ray videos to Blu-ray audio discs to DVD audio discs to SACDs, uh, regular CDs. Uh, just incredibly well-built machine. Unfortunately, OPPO has discontinued making these units and they were so popular incredible incredible if if uh, you're looking for a cd player uh, you can find these used probably anywhere from four hundred dollars to a thousand dollars depending on which model and how old they were and the shape they're in but uh, i'd seriously consider getting one of these units they're incredible next we're going to go down to my amplifier this is manufactured by a Canadian company by the name of Sim Audio. It's a Moon amp, integrated. The model number is 240i. Uh, the amp has a phono input, so I don't need a, a separate phono stage. Um, has five digital inputs cons consisting of a USB and uh, SP uh, something ID. I don't even know some of those because I'm just a real basic guy just uh, playing CDs and records. I'm not plugging anything else into it. It's got capabilities to uh, use it as a uh, surround sound amp, I think, and uh, weighs about 20 pounds, which is pretty good for a good solid amplifier because some of them, man, can weigh a ton. Um, it's 50 watts a channel, which doesn't sound like much, but man, the thing, it, it's got some power. It's, it drives my speakers. So I'm quite happy with it. Um, this amp right now retails for $4,100 Canadian. I'm, you can probably find a used one. You can probably get a better deal than that, but you know, they're, they're an expensive amplifier, still considered entry level audiophile. Now, before anyone thinks that I'm a rich man or have a ton of money, um, I don't. And uh, what happened was, uh, from my uh, years of playing in bands and stuff, I had a bunch of, uh, like I had a really nice bass guitar and beautiful amplifiers and all kinds of stuff. And when I retired from doing that, I sold all that stuff off. And I sold my old speakers and my old amplifier. And I raised probably about six, grand or something like that and I decide to invest it in uh, a, a nice stereo system that'll last me my lifetime. So um, that's where all that came from. Um, last but not least, my speakers. We'll go from the ground up here. 
I love the white speakers. They are monitor audio speakers, Silver Series 300s. First of all, I what I loved about these speakers is I had really big, heavy Usher speakers before. I could hardly lift them. They were uh, quite large and I wanted something a bit more streamlined. So you can see these are fairly uh, thin, actually, uh, somewhat deep. But um, I'll show you from that angle. You can see they're fairly thin. Um, they sound great. They look fantastic, and that's what I was looking for. Again, my Usher speakers weighed, I think, about 80 pounds a piece. They were ridiculously heavy. I couldn't move them myself. Um, these speakers, while they're heavy, I can, I can pick them up myself and move them if I need to, which was a big deal for me. As I'm getting older, and who knows if I'm going to have to change houses or what the heck I'm going to have to do, but uh, you never know. So that is my audio system. Now I'm just going to walk around and do a bit of a tour. I'm going to put Sky Wallace back on. If I can find what song I want to hear. Okay, let's just wander around a little bit. I know you guys have seen this room before, but I like showing it off. I'm so proud of it. So, enjoy. Extremities can't catch me. 
that was Sky Wallace. She's amazing. She's doing a cross Canada tour coming up this fall. New album coming out this fall. Um, just uh, watch for her. She's uh, an incredible talent. Finally, my John Hartford piece that John autographed for me. One of my prized possessions. I took that photo around 1977 or 78, I believe, um, at Ontario Place Forum in Toronto, and I uh, met John in the 90s, and he autographed that for me with his beautiful calligraphy handwriting that he would do. Uh, amazing man, one of my musical heroes. That's it, kids. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope you enjoyed Sky Wallace. Watch for her new album coming out. You can uh, check her out on Spotify. And she just released a new single on YouTube. So just uh, do a YouTube search for Sky Wallace and watch her new video. Uh, everyone have a great day. Take care.